Well, if there's one uh, set of programs that I use every day, it's the, uh, the suite of software inside of uh, Microsoft Office. They've come out with the latest version, Microsoft Office 2010, and uh, we want to have a look today at uh, Word and Excel specifically. These are two programs that uh, we use quite a bit, and some of the new features uh, that they've used to update to make it easier to uh, share and, and work with these documents. It's funny, but I always get excited when uh, Office comes out with a new version, <laughs> you know, and uh, everyone's always like, hey, what version are you on? So 2010's the new one, and there's some pretty cool stuff we're going to look at. Well, you know, for example, in Word here, they make it very simple to collaborate with uh, multiple people. So now, when you're working on a document, well, now you can kind of work on them at the same time, which makes it uh, a lot simpler. You know, up in the uh, backstage area, up in the file menu here, you can actually go down to save and send. So I can actually send this up to uh, a SharePoint server, or even can save it up to the web on my SkyDrive. I can be working up in the cloud, which is a cool thing, because uh, now they have an actual Microsoft uh, Word web app uh, as well. And you can see I've actually loaded up one of these documents and I can actually edit this right through my web browser on any internet connected computer. I don't have to have Office installed on that. And this is one of the places that uh, Microsoft had to get to because now we're able to share that information but we don't have to be in the same office. We can be uh, anywhere with an internet connection and be able to edit and work on documents, collaborate on those documents but also be more productive and uh, get each other's input. So we're creating a, an executive update here. This is kind of a, a nice thing to the uh, the smart art feature here. I can uh, add all sorts of uh, great diagrams and quite easily as well. So if I wanted to add in uh, you know organizational charts, hierarchies, uh, you can check this out here. Let's uh, do this one. Simply hit OK once I've selected it, and from here I can then go into the little side window and I can start uh, making my changes. I can put myself up at the top here. I knew I wasn't going to be at the top. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put you down here at the bottom just uh, for fun, so I can go down here. I can edit right on the uh, the page itself, or I can go into the field chooser here, and I'll put AJ Vickery. But again, you can see how simple it is to uh, make these changes. And uh, the nice thing too is, you know, I can pick different themes for my document, and as I'm updating my themes, it'll actually update the color uh, and theme of uh, the actual uh, art that I'm putting in here, the diagrams. Yeah, it makes it dead simple to make a compelling presentation and really all you want to do first is just put in all your data and then you can start and go to manipulate the different templates. Uh, another feature too, you know, a lot of times you're working on documents, uh, sometimes you forget to save it. This is nice, I can go down uh, to the file menu again and uh, you can check this out, I can manage the versions. You can see all the different versions I have going here, which is nice because, wow. you know, you're always working on uh, documents, whether they're Word or Excel. And I can even go down and recover unsaved documents uh, as well here. And you can see I've got one there and uh, I can bring that back up. I know this is your favorite, you love Excel. Yeah, well Excel, I'm a data guy, I love to um, look at spreadsheets and I love writing formulas, but uh, they've made Excel quite simple in the Office 2010 version in terms of being able to look at information and uh, and look at it in a number of different ways. Well this is kind of neat, they got something called Sparkline, so I can set uh, take a set of data up here in the insert menu, I can select between line, columns, win, loss, and so by selecting column here, I then uh, select a single cell where I want this uh, little graphic to go and uh, check this out here. I've got a little kind of column chart and you know I can change that into a line chart if I want to as well but again it makes things a lot more visual so it's uh, easier to get your point across. Exactly and if you want to look at your information quickly and just see graphically hey where's this uh, data going we're looking at the pricing uh, as it's falling you, you get an idea of like how much it's falling from again a visual way. And so that's kind of the cool thing they're trying to make it easier so you don't have to be like a mathematician to figure out how to use spreadsheets and, and work with that data. A lot of times you've got like sheets and sheets of uh, different types of data, sales figures or what have you. So they're trying to make it simple to get that all into one place and, and, and usable as well. Pivot tables, uh, very powerful feature of Excel. I've got one here uh, that I've inserted down the side. Here I've got the field list, so I can kind of start uh, clicking off uh, different uh, parts of the, uh, the data that I want. And you can see as I'm doing it, it's uh, actually uh, creating uh, you know, the, uh, the pivot table down here. But uh, they've also got another feature uh, called uh, slicing, which is kind of interesting. I can then uh, slice data, check this out. I click on the slice, and as you can see, they've created these little slices of uh, information. And if I wanna just check out uh, certain locations, I can uh, select the different ones, 
and it brings it up on the side. So I can get that really simple view of uh, exactly what information. I don't have to look at all of it. It can take data from numerous sheets, you know, sheets with up to a million cells as well, ones that are on the network or the web or just on my local hard drive too. Yeah, with the uh, business intelligent engine built into Office 2010 with the um, uh, Excel, it allows you to process huge amounts of data. And again, we're looking at a simple spreadsheet, but if we had hundreds, even thousands of rows, we'd be able to put that into a pivot table, look at data that we want to look at, but using that slicer feature even take that one step further and get quick data on the fly. So if you're looking uh, for ways to make it easier when you're working with your documents and especially when it comes to sharing and collaborating, you might want to have a look at the Microsoft Office 2010 uh, suite. They've got a lot of great new features. Obviously we can't cover all of them in uh, just a few minutes, but you can check out our website for more uh, of uh, these how-to tips, but also uh, Microsoft site at www.microsoft.ca slash office.